Welcome to Cure for Conflict. I'm David Martinez. On this episode, we'll be discussing blood diamonds in Africa, particularly in Sierra Leone. For those of you who don't know, the term blood diamonds refers to diamonds used to illegally fund wars. The act of using blood diamonds became more common not too long ago. During the 90s, a civil war broke out in Sierra Leone against the government. The rebel group that kicked off this fighting was called the Revolutionary United Front in 1991. While popular among citizens of Sierra Leone, at first due to promises of free health care, education, and shared resources, the RUF later became known for their cruelty and brutal acts. After gaining two-thirds control of the country that same year, they didn't keep their promises. The RUF kept resources for themselves, causing Sierra Leone's economy to collapse. By 1992, the RUF had controlled the diamond mining capital of Sierra Leone. They did everything they could to maintain control of the mines, including amputating citizens' limbs. Other acts of intimidation include using children as soldiers, sometimes even forcing them to attack their parents, as well as abducting women, many of whom were forced to be sex slaves. Attacks by the RUF were funded by these illegally mined diamonds. The United Nations finally intervened in 1999 resulting in the Lone Peace Accord in July of 1999. When this failed, Britain intervened a few years later, and the war was finally declared over in 2002. While the war may have ended, the effect it had on Sierra Leone was clear. The 11-year war caused around 200,000 deaths, close to a quarter million, since then, the United Nations passed resolutions that forbade the selling of diamonds to help fund a war, as well as importing and exporting diamonds from Sierra Leone. The United Nations pushed harder to stop blood diamonds from becoming mainstream in 2003, when the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme was formed. African countries where these diamonds were generally mined from supervised and regulated diamonds mined. People looking to export diamonds must present a certificate in order to prevent diamond trafficking. The KPCS unfortunately failed to stop blood diamonds due to corrupt officials. All that has happened in recent years is that diamond trafficking has shifted in Africa from rebel groups to government officials. That's it for this week's edition of Cure for Conflict. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe to the youth channel on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm David Martinez. We'll be back next week with another edition of Cure for Conflict. See you next week. Maybe. <laughs>